it's very seldom that you get to participate in something in your career that will be that will have a generational effect an effect far beyond when we leave this earth this project will continue to serve many many people customary these days to always have a name associated with a heavy pc equipment and uh and so we we do have a name and we're happy to see that it's uh named missy lane after uh district two director uh director elaine jones elaine has been uh will be completing her 24th uh, year as a as a city director and she's not seeking re-election so uh, it's very fitting for us to uh, to have this uh, drill bit named after her. You know, this is the largest project of its kind in, in the history of North America, over 2,600 feet of, of, of boring a hole, and we all know Elaine is anything but boring, so uh, so uh, her effervescence will uh, will shine through as, as that uh, piece of equipment uh, bores uh, through the mountain. And another pun would be, and she will drill down to any issue to, to serve her constituents within not only District 2, but in uh, uh, the whole community of Hot Springs in Garland County. So, so with that, you know, um, we have Missy Lane right behind us, a, a master, masterful piece of equipment uh, built in Germany, and uh, the cutting tools. Uh, at the head is specifically designed for the rock that it's going to encounter as it goes through uh, Blakely Mountain. You know, upon completion, it will provide 23 million gallons of water a day, all gravity fed, 17 miles to the new uh, uh, water treatment plant. We've had many, many challenges along the way, and some very difficult decisions were made by not only this board, but previous board members, and there'll be additional challenges and hard decisions that come as we complete this process. When we started this process, we were pre-COVID. It was about a $110 million project. At the end of the day, we'll probably have about $150 million into this project. Those are big numbers, but what we're solving are big challenges. And I believe in my heart of hearts that when this is complete, history will be very kind to this board of directors and those that came before and after. We looked at um, several different places. We've, we've been, like Bill said, we've been uh, on tours of the lake, looking at different areas, and, and here we are today. And it's, uh, it's a long story about why we're here at this site, but uh, it worked out. I think uh, God had a hand in it. We're gonna be able to gravity feed water to the city of Hot Springs. That's an awesome, that's an awesome thing for this city and for this uh, area. Um, and to go ahead and to reserve the rights to degrade, uh, it's, you know, that's, that's, that's looking forward in the future. The mayor said 50 years, but I could see that 150 years from now. Uh, if we're still here, uh, which our next generations will be, uh, they'll be able to enjoy that and they'll look back at this board and say, thank you for making those decisions. So it was tough decisions to, uh, to bite this off and to do that. So, uh, to the board members before us and to the board members now, uh, I say thank you. So. It's really something to finally see this come to life. I've been uh, working on this for about a year and a half now, and I know that's not as long as all of you guys with your 13 plus years, so I'm not going to take too much of your guys' time. Um, this really is something special. This is a very unique and challenging job, and we're really grateful for the opportunity to be a part of it and be part of your guys' historical um, endeavors for this water line. Um, I do want to give a big thanks to our crew over there that made this all possible. They worked their butts off these last couple of months. A lot of sweat in this Arkansas heat. Um, and then also our shop back at home, orchestrating all of our equipment, getting it out here and getting us ready to mine. Uh, we're looking forward to start mining tomorrow, and we are hoping for a successful hole through on the other side. As Bill and Monty mentioned, it's been quite an example of, of teamwork. I mean, it has been one obstacle after another to get to this point where we're standing here today. We, I remember coming come walking these woods with Monty, I believe in 2019, I think is when that was, and we walked through these woods and it, it looked nothing like this at that time. It looked like these woods behind you and across. It was just rough terrain and, and you just can't imagine um, the satisfaction standing here today to see 
to see what's behind me. And I'm sure Monty feels the same way. We we walk through here and we end up uh, we end up finding a place to do our uh, geotechnical boring right up right up the hill here. We 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 spent the better part of a year, and the city spent hundreds of thousands of dollars working on geotechnical engineering at this site to determine uh, how and if this was going to be something that we could we were going to be able to do from a technical standpoint. So. So the, the city should, should should be very proud of the of the uh, uh, being being staying firm in their commitment to the project through through all these years through COVID and um, it it um, it's a, it's it's good to be standing here today. The other the other the other part I wanted to mention about the teamwork the, the, the examples of teamwork is the the regulatory hurdles that we have gone through in this project. What you, Bill mentioned going to Vicksburg. We've made several trip, trips to Vicksburg to uh, visit with the Corps of Engineers. <clears throat> but what you, what you don't understand, you probably may or may not know, is we're standing on forest, U.S. Forest Service property right here. And about halfway between here and the road, there's a property line and we cross over and that's Corps of Engineers property. So there's two different property owners here, both owned by the federal government and both with their full set of different rules and regulations that we have to abide by. So we doubled down on, on the federal regulations on this site right here, having being able to build both both the Forest Service and the and the uh, Corps of Engineers property. But we made it through it. Todd and Monty and Gary did an outstanding job keeping up with all that, and, and there's just been a lot a lot of, of, of really awesome teamwork on this project. As we close, there's one individual that that uh, worked with Chris some time ago that I don't, I don't think this would have been possible without all the work that he did. Um, he's, he's retired now and uh, certainly deservingly. Uh, but Stuart Nolan, I actually wrote his name up here. Uh, Stuart worked many years with us as we were as we were going through some of that work that uh, that we needed to do to be able to get these final approvals. Uh, just a, a great uh, consummate that we had he, he 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 is well deserved to be recognized as well because i don't think we'd be standing here today without a lot of his efforts and the trust that the board put in him and to to chris